let's create the text for the lot plan and identify the numbering for the monuments from 1 to uh, 7. Previously, we have been using the shortcut key for multi-line text which is the letter T. And uh, the multi-line text is very convenient as it provides you several options in editing your text as can be seen in its dedicated contextual text tab editor as such. So I'll just create the bounding box for the text. And we have here at its contextual tab, the text editor has different options for you to manipulate or edit your text. Okay. However, sometimes less is more and uh, Miss Van der Rohe would be glad if we apply his dictum for labeling some of our drawings such as for our uh, lot plan text. And in the ribbon, I'll just uh, press escape. And in the ribbon under annotate tab on the leftmost part of this uh, panel text, we have here multi-line text, okay? And it, it has a drop-down arrow. So let's uh, click on that. And we could select between a multi-line text or a single-line text. And of course, to honor Ms. Van der Rohe, let's select single-line text. And we can create a text without the text editor tab. The only options we have as of the moment is this uh, panel and the command prompt. Okay? AutoCAD prompts you to specify start point of text instead of the first corner for multi-line text and provide you additional option for justifying or providing a style for your text. But let's just uh, leave it as is first. And let's specify the first, uh, or I mean the start point of our text. So let's start here at the center of our lot plan. And click here. And then specify text height. Again, the number you see in the angled bracket on the command prompt is the default of uh, AutoCAD for text height. If not, uh, if you have entered a value for that, that will be the default that would appear. But since we have not yet uh, entered text and I just opened this as a lot plan without uh, typing any text and we have the default of 2.5 as the default text height for uh, AutoCAD text. We shall input a different text height because we assume of uh, printing our lot plan in scale 1 is to 100. And as for example, we want the text height when printed to be exactly 2.5 mm when we measure it when it is printed. Therefore, we multiply our desired printed text height this is for example 2.5 mm okay so for example i want my text height to be 2.5 mm when it will be printed okay when i measure the text height when it's printed it must be 2.5 mm and that is using scale 1 is to 100 so use the scale factor of 100 so we multiply our desired text height to the scale factor which is 1 is to 100 of course, we multiply it by 100, okay? And then, we need to input 250. So that when the text is printed using scale 1 is to 100, the text height would measure 2.5 mm. So let's input that on our AutoCAD. So 250, enter, okay? And AutoCAD prompts you for rotation angle of the text. Of course, I want it straight. 0 is in the direction of east, and 90 towards north, 180 towards west, and negative 90 towards the south, okay? But of course, we want it towards the east, so let's leave it to the zero uh, angle. By the way, rotation of angle or 
angle measurement in AutoCAD by default is counterclockwise. Okay? So, it starts from east, going north, going west, until it goes back to east. So, remember that. That's the default. Although, you could change that in the units, the direction. You could change it to clockwise, but I advise you not to do so. Okay? Just leave it as is that the direction of angle measurement in AutoCAD is in counterclockwise. So, let's just accept 0 and then enter. And now, the cursor turned into the vertical text entry bar. And uh, let's type 1. Let's uh, type 1 but zoom in first because this will become uh, small later on. So, type 1. And then, enter. And then, zoom out a little. And then, pan a little. And then, type 2. And same sequence until you reach a 7 or 0 0.7. So, 4, 5, 6. And, of course, enter. 7. And lastly, after 7, click outside the text lines. Okay? So, click outside. So, anywhere on your drawing area. So, I'll click. And then, it creates another line, but I don't like, so I just press escape. So, escape or enter. You might be wondering why we input successive lines of text or number. Is this not similar to multi-line text? Of course not. Uh, zoom in and uh, click to each of the numbers. So, click or select, escape, select or click. You could select them individually. Although we created them successively, they are still single line text. And this is just one of the advantages of less is more, the single line text. Before we continue, let's follow the text style of our reference. So this one is actually the text style of our reference. And let's find that particular uh, text. So let's go back to AutoCAD. And press escape because I have selected uh, a number. So press escape to exit any selection. And let's type ST in our keyboards. This is for creating different styles for our text. Okay. So text style shortcut is ST for style. And then hit enter. And warning. Please remember this, uh, never modify the defaults of AutoCAD, especially for text styles and dimension styles and other defaults, okay? Uh, the defaults of AutoCAD actually follows international standards of industries in drafting. Mm, you might say that, uh, so what? I have my own standards. Yes, we know that you have your preferences and standards for beauty. But in case we mess things up in AutoCAD, we could always recheck the defaults. And therefore, we have a fallback without reinstalling or resetting your AutoCAD. By the way, we could uh, reset to the uh, original defaults of AutoCAD. If you have a Windows, I'm using Windows. I don't know for Mac. If you have Windows, you could go, go to the program or the start menu. And then go to the application programs and then find AutoCAD. Uh, for me, I'm using AutoCAD 2017. And then expand that. And then at the bottom part, we have reset settings to default. Okay? But of course, that would reset everything that we have done. And I don't want that. Okay? If you don't have the reset icon for uh, AutoCAD, go to Autodesk and it might be there but we have a reset uh, reset settings to default but we don't want that because it would undo everything that we have set as default for example the drafting settings etc 